Parents Helper. Hey, Keila Copeland here from AT Copeland Marketing and Event Planning. Just doing a super duper quick Periscope video. Hello, hello. It's Akila from AT Copeland Marketing and Event Planning. Doing a quick, quick video. I'm en route to another location. And I said, let me go ahead and do this video. So, what I see a lot, and I was having an um, online conversation about this this morning, or and yesterday actually, is that a lot of business owners, or entrepreneurs, or small business um, owners, they do a lot of business online, so they use the online platforms um, to build their business and to build their client base. Uh, but their faith, but they're always trying to figure out exactly why are they unable to reach more clientele or why are they unable to grow their business outside of what it's already grown. Hey, Miss Shay. And their Facebook page is private. Or you Google them and they have an Instagram and their Instagram is private. Why? I don't understand um, so I posted on my Facebook yesterday if you are an entrepreneur and your social media pages are private then you should just close the business and just get a real job just do some resumes put your resume together do a couple applications and get a real job um, because if you're oops let me click on that Page people no no, no, no. I mean, you. if nobody's looking for you or looking to stalk you, then you're not doing any, you're not doing good business. Hey, Miss Shay. I mean, if people want to see what you're doing, then that means that there is a buzz about you or the word is out about you and it's publicity. And that's what you want for your business. You want your business to be in the limelight, in any kind of light. I mean... Hey, bad publicity is publicity all the same. Still getting your name out there. So whether people are stalking you, and, and here's the thing, ain't nobody stalking y'all that bad if you're running a small business or you're a small-time entrepreneur. Nobody's stalking you that bad that you need to private out your Facebook page. And don't put all of your business on Facebook. On social media what seriously customers purchase things based on emotions it's buying a new car a few months ago and I made this long list of characteristics that I um, want in a new car because you know I'm a nerd I google everything I research everything so I made this long list of characteristics thank you miss Shay miss Beyonce can do it then I can too um, so I made this huge list of things that I wanted a new car. Get to the car dealership and the car that I saw and I put myself in and I put my sunglasses on and I turned this, pulled the sunroof back and I was like, oh, I bought this car off of emotion. I bought, people buy things off of emotions. Consumers shop based on their emotions. So when I um, am doing business with someone, I promise you, it's smarts driven and it's um, information driven, but it's emotion driven. If I Google someone and I see that they we have some of the same things in common, they're a real person, they're not a robot just trying to get my money, then they can get it. I'm writing my check out to them immediately. Okay, I'm swiping my card, doing whatever I need to do to get them my money because I I'm a regular person, I'm a regular consumer, and I do just like y'all, I buy things off of emotions. If I'm walking past Dillard's, trying to get to another store, and some shoes just jump out at me, and they, you know, look like they might look cute on me, I'm just gonna buy those shoes based off emotion. That's how people shop. That's the mind frame of the consumer, is everything is emotion driven. So. Open those Facebook pages up if you are an entrepreneur. Because how are people going to see how you live every day in your day-to-day -day life um, 
if they can't see you personally. Everybody Googles everything. I Google everything. Everything that I do, I'm about to go in here and Google um, some new hair that my stylist can put in next week. Okay? So, you guys, open up your Facebook pages if you're an entrepreneur and don't put all of your dang business on social media. Okay? Just make yourself look personable and make yourself look as though you are a real person and you are human because privatizing your page dehumanizes you seriously and it makes people not wanna do business with you because they think you got something to hide and that's that all right y'all I'm about to okay as soon as I get this code right I'm gonna go in this door and I'm gonna be out y'all share this scope okay and I'll see y'all later bye